Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics Explained 16. All right, today's first one we're going to do with Elvis. Uh, and of course, the title of the song is Are You Lonesome Tonight? Okay, let's take a, a look at the note here. Uh, now, a classic Elvis Presley song. He recorded this song uh, after finishing his military service in 1960. And his manager advised him against it because he thought it wasn't his style. Uh, but it ended up becoming such a big hit. Even Elvis himself wasn't that sure if he could do the song justice, if he thought he could do it right. But uh, to be honest, that this song has been recorded a number of times. It was originally written in, I think, 1926 by some vaudeville actors. Uh, and a lot of people have sang it, but probably the one that everybody always remembers is probably Elvis. So... Uh, I, he must have done it justice because that's the one that everybody remembers. If somebody says, who sang Are You Lonesome Tonight? Everybody will think about Elvis. They'll remember the Elvis version. Oh, anyway, so again, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, just like usual, I'll, you know, uh, uh, sing and, and read the words, and then I'll explain any vocabulary that needs to be explained. So let's just start. Uh, this is how it begins. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? All right, so let's look at that. Well, first, lonesome. Lonesome, of course, means that somebody's unhappy because they're lonely. Nobody's with them, or especially in this case, because he's, you know, missing his previous love, his, his girlfriend. So he's feeling even more lonesome. So, are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me? Because I guess he's thinking about her, and he's, I guess he's wondering if she is thinking about him. Uh, to feel sad about someone because they are not with you. So, do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? So, are you sorry? I mean, do you regret this? <laughs> that we drifted apart to, to gradually become more separated more and more separated from somebody that you used to be very close to. You, you could slowly drift apart. So this could be with, you know, lovers, or this, this could even just be with regular friends could drift apart as well. So, are you sorry we drifted apart? And then it goes on. Does your memory stray to a brighter uh, summer day? When I kissed you and called you sweetheart. All right, let, let's go over that. So, uh, does your memory stray? All right, here if we say stray, if your mind or memories stray, you do not concentrate on a particular subject. So, your mind is kind of wandering, going somewhere, uh, but start thinking or looking at other things. So, your mind could be straying. So, so again, let's uh, go over again. Does your memory stray to a brighter summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Okay, so, you know, sweetheart, term of endearment, just like, you know, um, sweetheart, sugar, honey, you know, something that you might call your girlfriend or your wife. Uh, do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? All right, let me go over some of this. Do the chairs in your parlor. Our parlor here basically meaning like a, a room in a house used for entertaining guests. Okay. Um, do, do they seem empty and bare? So this goes along with the feeling of being very lonely. Uh, of course, maybe nobody visiting you, nobody with you, empty, bare. Bare here always means containing nothing, having nothing. So, are you lonely too? Basically, he's thinking about her, he's seeing that. Uh, do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? I remember if we say to gaze, to look at someone or something for a long time. It's kind of a dreamy stare. We always say that we, we stay as a we uh, gaze at stars, like the real stars in the sky, like, wow. You could gaze at movie stars, like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So, so it's always kind of a dreamy stare. 
uh, because they are attractive or interesting, then we say you gaze at someone. Uh, here, maybe kind of in a dreamy thing, just hoping maybe <laughs> your love will return. So that was, he's asking her that question. Do you gaze at your doorstep? Your doorstep means a small step outside the main door of a house. And that's what we mean. That's the doorstep. Uh, do you, yeah. Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Well, picture means to imagine, to imagine, to imagine in your mind. Do you see an image of me in your mind? Uh, okay. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? So, uh, you know, well, do you feel pain? Uh, should I return? You know, he's kind of asking you that. Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Okay, so this is the main part that he's actually singing in the song. And then after that, um, you know, th then there's another like humming instrument. One, da, 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 da. And then it goes into a part where he does mostly talking. Uh, and he does it very slowly. He goes, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll try to do it. I don't know if I come close to anything close to an Elvis voice, but uh, I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. You know, someone said that the world's a stage and each must play a part. All right. Um, yeah, this this is not just someone. This is Shakespeare. This is a line from Shakespeare. Uh, if we say all the world's a stage, and definitely Shakespeare, meaning all the world is like a show. And, you know, in our human life, it's almost like we're playing actors, in even in our real life. Uh, and all humans are actors playing their role. So that's that's what that means. So he actually says that. Remember, this was originally written by vaudeville actors, you know, so they were, they're on stage all the time. So uh, maybe they, they, they really relate to that. Um, okay, anyway, though, so um, that's basically what he says here. So uh, I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. And, you know, and, and you know someone said the world's, uh, the world's a stage. And each must play a part. Yeah, just like uh, directly from Shakespeare. Fate had me uh, playing in love, in, in love with you, basically, as my sweetheart. You know, that's the way he says. So, um, fate, of course, if we say fate, things that uh, happen to one. So, meaning it was just fate that, you know, I ended up, you know, we ended up together as lovers. Uh, fate had one playing in love you with you uh, as my sweetheart. Uh, act one. So it's again. It's it's almost like it's a play. Uh, act one was when we met. I loved you at first glance. All right. So uh, again, like your 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 whole love experience was almost like a play. Uh, okay, in love as my sweetheart. Uh, you read your line so cleverly and never missed a cue. Meaning, so just like we're playing parts again. So you led your line so cleverly in a very clever way, smart, funny way, and never missed a cue. Cue, yeah, this is a word that we use like with actors. Something that an actor does or says as a signal to another actor. So uh, sometimes actors will give themselves a cue. Uh, it's probably especially to help remember lines or to do something. Uh, okay. You read your line so cleverly and never missed a cue. Then came act two. You seemed to change, and you acted strange. So, yeah, so, of course, maybe, you know, their love is starting to fade or fall apart. Uh, and why, I'll never know. Honey, you lied when you said you loved me. And I had no cause to doubt you. But I'd rather go on hearing your lies than to go on living without you. All right, so that's part of the song. Mm, I don't know if I would completely agree with that, but, <laughs> but it is part of the song. It's very romantic. Of course, he can do it in a very romantic way. Uh, so let's go on. Uh, then go on living without you. Now the stage is bare and I'm standing there. Okay, so the, so again, it's like life is a stage. You're, you're acting. Uh, the stage is bare means nobody's on the stage. It's bare, containing nothing again. And I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if you won't come back to me, uh, then they can bring the curtains down, like the end of the play. You know, they can bring the curtains down. All right. Um, I guess he means the show is over. 
Or, I hope he doesn't mean that he might kill himself. Sounds a little bit like that. <laughs> but, but anyway, but still, this was a very romantic song. Everybody always remembers it. And then he goes back into the singing right at the end of the song again. So, uh, is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Um, okay. Anyway, it's a very classic love song. Uh, I hope you got it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.